In this video, you're gonna learn the purpose of a status meeting, why status updates should be done async, what is Atlas, and we'll explore an example of using Atlas for async status updates. When we look at collaboration touch points, things, meetings and other interaction events, we typically group them into three areas, improve, eliminate, or transform. We're either gonna look at a meeting and say, let's improve that meeting, or we're gonna say, let's get rid of that meeting, or let's turn that meeting into something that can add more value. Well, status meetings tend to be one of the easiest meetings that we can eliminate because guess what? There are a ton of async tools and techniques out there that allow us to communicate the same information that a status meeting would without ever having to meet in person. Before we move on, let's talk about the purpose of a status meeting. The goal of a status meeting is alignment for everyone to kind of get a sense of what's going on with a particular project or body of work. Now, traditionally, what this looked like is it looked like a once a week meeting where let's say 100 people got together on a phone call and you would go through small status updates on each of your projects. As a project owner, I would have maybe 30 seconds to share an update on my work and then I would spend the next two hours just listening to everyone else's work. Talk about a great use of time, right? Why should status meetings be done async? The thing is when done properly, an async status meeting is simply going to give you all the information pertinent to the current situation on a project. If updated properly in different tools, you can be able to gain that yourself without having to meet in person to do that. I used to go to a status meeting that was all day on a Thursday. Think about it, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on a Thursday where hundreds of different projects would come together. The thing is, is there were hundreds of us on this call and I would venture to say that thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars was being wasted every week at this organization because we would just sit there and listen to what's going on. There's got to be a better way, and there is. Atlas is Atlassian's answer to the status meeting. Many times in the past, we'd get on a phone call or we meet in person to share a status update. But why do that when maybe we can each have a project established in a central tool and allow us to provide updates on the projects and goals we're working on? That's what Atlas does. Atlas is essentially a team directory. Teams can establish themselves in there and be able to identify the projects and goals they're working on. They can then connect with other teams who are also contributing to those. Within Atlas, you have the ability to share information on the project and goals. Why are we working on this? What is it about? And then most importantly, you can provide weekly updates in terms of what's going on with it. What's the health of the project? What's the latest update we have? What's beautiful about Atlas is it also limits how much information can be shared. You only have a certain number of characters that you can put in there, so you have to be concise with that update. In Atlas, you don't have to go hunting around for those status updates either. For each of the projects and goals that you follow, you will actually receive a weekly notification. Maybe it's email, maybe it's Slack, giving you a consolidated view of all the projects and goals you're watching and their current status. By leveraging tools to help encourage those forcing functions, things like Atlas that give you prompts to say, add your update by end of day on Friday, this gives us our ability to bring that forcing function that many times a status meeting was designed to do to help get that aligned update. And if you do the async status updates right, you can actually free up time from hundreds of people's schedule every week. Think about that meeting I just told you about. All of a sudden, all of us can actually work on getting work done versus sitting in a room waiting to give a 30 second update. All right, let's take a look at an example of how a team can use Atlas as a tool to replace their status meetings. Okay, so let's say I'm on the marketing team and I'm in charge of running a campaign to launch our newest product. If you watched the last videos, you know our project is moving along well, but I'm looking for efficiencies to reduce the number of meetings that our team has on the calendar. So it seems like the best place to start is to eliminate our weekly sync status meeting, and instead we'll use an async tool like Atlas. So this is the homepage of Atlas, and this is where I can see all the updates on projects and goals, right? Atlas is meant to be a very high level update, right? It's not supposed to get into the, the details of what everyone's working on. It's really at the highest level providing transparency so everyone has an idea of how projects and goals are tracking. So what I'm gonna do is I've created a project for our team around the project launch campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into our main project here. On the right side, it shows some information about the people that are involved, what goals this project contributes to. And then you can also link to different places. So where the work is tracked, this goes to our Jira work management board. 
And then these go to Confluence pages that actually talk about the project themselves. So people that do come to this page, they can click to that deeper level to see what's happening with the project. But this page itself still just keeps everything at a high level. The most important part of this page is over here on the left side. This is where all the project updates happen. So anyone that comes to this page can see on a high level that our product launch campaign is actually at risk to be delivered by its intended target date of February 2023. And so these statuses can change, right? So this right now we're at risk, but this could change to off track, could change back to on track. Uh, maybe it gets deprioritized, it could be paused, or when it's finished, we can move this to complete it. So for the stakeholders on this project, they can look down here and see what the risk is, right? So I've identified that the risk is a budget approval that's delayed due to our internal finance processes. So once our stakeholders can see what the risk is, the risk itself can prompt a further discussion. And maybe that is what we actually spend our sync time talking about instead of the high level status update. We figure out how we can solution and resolve this specific problem. So the whole goal of this, right, is to replace our sync meetings. So what I've done is I've set up a process that every Thursday I post an update here and that's what replaces our sync meeting. So let's say that we resolve this budget approval problem, right? And so I'm posting my new update on Thursday and I'll post that there are no risks, that the budget was approved and the finance process were resolved. And we're now going to start building deliverables. I'll also update this status back to on track. So we're all set and notice down here, I'm only able to type 280 characters total because the behavior Atlas is trying to drive is that this really is just a high level snapshot. Let's not get into all the details here. If you want to link out to the details, that's great. But this text that you post here really should just be the highest level, most important updates for stakeholders to see. I'll click post here and we can see that the project has been updated to back on track. And what happens now is that anyone that's following this project will actually get notifications pushed out to them about the status update. So you can integrate this with Slack or other in instant messaging tools it can also be pushed to email. However, your stakeholders best prefer to receive that information, but the status update will pop up for them in that specific channel that they prefer asynchronously. And that's it. Right, quick and simple, I've taken three minutes to post this weekly update, and now all of my teammates and stakeholders have received this status update async without us ever having to meet in person. So that way we've reduced the total number of meetings that we have and total number of hours spent in sync time. And what we can do is we can now save that sync time to discuss more important matters than just the simple status update.